Well, first and foremost, it's awesome to be here. It's great to see this kind of enthusiasm, and it's great to actually be in a full room. Uh, you know, honestly, guys, what I see in Florida right now is exemplary of the Republican Party, right? This is a state like the party is that has open schools, open businesses, and open churches. What we've seen in some of the more left-leaning states is exactly the opposite. The only thing that they have open is open borders. And it doesn't work, guys. In the first 30 days of Joe Biden's presidency, all of the things that I said would come true in the book Liberal Privilege that I wrote last summer are happening. We listened to months of media telling us that Joe Biden, he's a moderate, don't worry. He's not going to end energy. He's not going to end pipelines, which is partially correct. He's not going to end Russian pipelines. He's only going to end American pipelines. The Russian ones are just fine. They're going to cave to China. No, that was never going to happen. Of course it happened. You think that billion dollar investment in Hunter came for free? No, the Chinese, the Chinese have a great return on investment. But guys, more importantly, who would have thought that within 33 days we'd be bombing the Middle East again? I would have. Oh no, guys, come on, the military industrial complex? I'm surprised it took them 33 days. I guess they waited till the first month, so they couldn't say that was part of the first 30, but it was only shortly thereafter where we started bombing the Middle East. So, you know what, guys? The first 30 days has been a disaster. The lies the media told you wouldn't happen are all happening. But hey, at least they have a diverse cabinet. Right? No, yeah, it's very diverse. That's what we saw, right? What is the policy of the SBA? Well, first and foremost, we appointed a woman. Well, that's wonderful. Is she competent? Because there's competent women and there's incompetent women, just like there's competent men and incompetent men. We've seen that. We know that to be a fact. But when you don't have policy to address the incompetence, and think you can get away with it by just talking about diversity blindly, it's sort of a problem, isn't it? 